Hi, in this computer we're going to show you how to configure and find the Hyper-V manager when you configure the Hyper-V software on your computer. I'm going to be doing this on Windows 10 Professional, so if you're using Windows 10 Home, then this is not going to apply to you because you can't configure Hyper-V on Windows 10 Home. So many times you'll go um, set up the Hyper-V software by going to Control Panel and Programs and Features. And then you could go to turn Windows features on or off. You could also do this through command line and PowerShell. But this way is super quick. And if you uh, don't have the Windows 7 start menu like I do, you could just do it in the search box, search for programs and features, and run it from there. And then you want to turn Windows features on or off. And then you're going to want to find Hyper-V and just check the first box there, which should check the uh, second box. So you'll have the management tools and so on, and then you'll have to reboot your computer. But many times, um, depending on what build of Windows you got going, and this has been going on for a while, you'll find that you'll install it, and then you'll go search for it, and you can't find it. So let's say you go to your let me go to Windows 10 Start menu, go to your Administrative Tools. And you'll go here and it won't be here. Or if you'll go do a search for, for Hyper-V and it won't find anything. Um, and you won't even have the uh, M MMC console. So if you, if you run the uh, Microsoft Management Console and you try to uh, add a snap-on, you should be able to find Hyper-V in here. But if you don't have it conf configured correctly, then it's not going to show up. See, I have it here because I did the fix, which I'm going to show you in a second here. So you'll find that if you run the Microsoft Management Console, you're not even going to have this here to add it, so you're going to be out of luck there too. So what you need to do is you need to go to Microsoft website and download the Remote Server Administration Tools for Windows 10. And then once you install that, you'll be good to go. I'll put a link in the description. So you just pretty much download it, and I have it here. So it's a 92 megabyte file. Just double-click it and run it. It'll probably take five minutes or so. It's just a pretty much next, next, next installation. And then you'll reboot your computer. And then when you come back, you'll be able to go to your administrative tools. And then you have your Hyper-V manager right there. Or if you search, You'll be able to find it from there. You'll have the Hyper-V Manager and also the Quick Create. And then you could just, you know, put it on your desktop or whatever. And then if you use the Windows 7 Start menu, then you'll have it under your All Programs, Administrative Tools, Hyper-V Manager right there. And then you can just drag it to your desktop for a shortcut. So pretty simple. It's kind of unfortunate that you have to do this instead of it just working the way it should. So like I said, just go to Programs and Features, turn Windows features on and off, check the Hyper-V, reboot, and if you can't get to your Hyper-V manager, go to this website, download this uh, Remote Server Administration Tools, download that, and reboot again, and then you should be uh, good to go. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.